Hello, hello, it's Shayla. Oh, and today, this is gonna be a venting session for me, y'all. I'm so, I'm angry. I'm very angry. I'm angry, yeah. So, I, as a side gig, I am a Lyft driver and an Uber driver. I typically drive, you know, a few days a week to help supplement my income. And last night happened to be a night that I drove. I picked up four young men. They had to be anywhere between 18, 19, maybe 20 or 21, but no younger than that. They were young, young guys. So it was a total of four of them. Three of them were Caucasian. One, I'm, he, he appeared to be of Indian descent, not Native American, but Indian descent. And so they all got in my vehicle. Three were sitting in the bag. One was sitting in the front seat with me because I have a sedan. So as we're traveling to take them to their destination, which was a club, we passed by, there were like, there had to be like at least four different police vehicles that stopped this one vehicle, right? And so their lights were flashing and everything. And one of the Caucasian guys that was sitting in the back seat said, dang, they got those ninjas but they but he actually said the actual n-word right and i'm saying ninja because i don't want to get i'm not sure i'm still new to social media so i don't want to do anything to get my my page blocked or any violations against me huh. but anyway he said the n-word right now mind you i was driving i did see the police vehicles but I wasn't paying attention, so I'm not sure if the vehicle that was stopped by the police, like how many people were there or the race of the people. I'm not sure if they were black individuals or if they were of a different race. But the Caucasian guy in my back seat specifically said, they got those ninjas, right? And immediately when I heard that, I was infuriated right here I am driving trying to concentrate on getting them safely to their destination and I hear this right but I told myself Shayla just stay calm stay calm don't say anything right then a few minutes later the same Caucasian guy sitting in my back seat in my vehicle now he, he was not talking directly to me he was talking amongst his friends, his other friends that was in the car, but it was in reference to someone else. And he said it again, man, that ninja, ninja is crazy. And here I am again, trying to just concentrate on driving and getting them safely to their destination. And he says it again. All kind of things were going in my mind. I wanted to just like really show my true colors. You know, you go how you have the nerve to be in my vehicle and freely use that word, a black woman's vehicle. The nerve. But I also was thinking of my safety. There were four individuals. I knew that they had been drinking. I don't know if they possibly were taking any other substances, but I knew that drinking was involved because I smelt it. And it was just me in a car full of all of them. So I kept my cool, even though it was difficult. A few minutes later, he winds up the same Caucasian man in my back seat, winds up saying the word again in reference to someone else. And the third time, after the third time I spoke up, and I said, hey, this is the third time 
that I've heard you use the word ninja in my car. Don't do it again. And this Caucasian guy in my back seat says, oh, I'm sorry. I'll never say it again. I'm so upset, y'all. I wanted to start... I, I really, really wanted to start a revolt. <laughs> I almost kicked them out of my car, as I probably should have in hindsight. But the audacity, the white privilege was at an all-time high. To sit up in an African-American individual's vehicle and freely use the word, the N-word, like it's nothing. And you know, even though his other three friends, they did not say the word, they're just as guilty because not one of them said, hey, that's not right. Don't say that. That's unacceptable. Nobody. So all four of them guilty. So I got them to their destination and I reported them. We'll see how far this goes, y'all. But I'm telling you, this happened last night. I got home. And what it messed up my whole energy, to be honest with you. I had to 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 clock out early from driving because I was so messed up as far as being upset. I got home. That was the last thing I thought about. I dreamt about it. I woke up thinking about it. And here I am. You know, I, I, I don't want to give this all my energy today. But y'all, this is messed up. <laughs> and you know, I'm black. I've been on this earth almost 40 years, all right? I come from the Deep South. I have been called the N-word on multiple occasions. I've had a assistant supervisor tell me that I was the wrong color in front of customers when I was a cashier. And when I reported her, to my manager, my manager turns around and tells me that I'm being too sensitive. So I completely understand that racism is very much alive and very much well. But y'all, the audacity, getting in my car, and even though you weren't, he was not talking directly to me, he did not call me the N-word, but he used it freely, like it was nothing, like I'm supposed to be okay with that, in my car. We'll see how far this goes, y'all, but um, I'm really, I'm upset this morning. It's uh, the audacity.